this morning, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom dropped some news that the park would be opening, but with only the animal exhibits, so the rides wouldn't be open. Because Solano County is um, not on the state, on not on the right reopening stage to allow coasters to reopen, and that's the same reason Disneyland's opening got delayed. And Magic Mountain just doesn't have a date yet, so Discovery Kingdom's opening first. Part of it. So I'm gonna play the clip right now. Green World the experience. So, what I kind of took from this is Six Flags is trying to get as many of their parks open as humanly possible. Because, like, they kind of are losing a lot of money during this time because they can't have the parks open. So they're just losing money trying to keep stuff open and stuff. Even if, because of Discovery Kingdom, it's just the animals, it's still a park open. So I feel like right now they're trying to target to more some families more. Just because, like, yeah. So none of the rides are going to be open, so that means DC Universe is going to be closed. Still don't know the name of that plaza. Oh my god, the Plaza Medusa Run and the Cobra and Kong, all that stuff is going to be closed. Looney Tunes is going to be closed. The old Thomas Land Seaside Junction is going to be closed too, but that's already always closed. And all the other rides are going to be closed, too. And then, yeah, something I also think what they're trying to do with Discovery Kingdom, with this news and with what the ride for 2020 was planned to be, which is either canceled or delayed. I don't think it's canceled. I just think it's delayed because I went by the park. Because on the highway you can go and you can see over where side Wonder Safari is because they kind of cleared land. It's just blank right now. So when I get into the park, because that's where the animals are, I'll see from in the park if anything happened. Because I was there the week, bef the weekend of the last open day. And then, yeah, let me get on with my point. <laughs> I went on a side tangent, tangent there. Um, I think the Six Legs chain for Discovery Kingdom, I think they have a different image now. Because I think we're going to see more animal and natural themed attractions. Because of like Sideline to Safari. And they kind of ran out of space in DC Universe so they can't add anything else there. And they're not going to add like any... I think it's either going to be natural rides or they're going to retheme um, Looney Tunes to like national park or something never know or they might just leave it in the dilapidated state it's in you never know and then right now on the screen i'm going to be showing a map of what i think the areas of the parks are going to be open and which ones i think are going to be closed so yeah i'm going to talk over that and after all of this news, I'm still going to the park July 10th. So that's eight days after opening, only because I'm out of California till July 8th. So I might go 8th or 9th, depending on if I can get a reservation. Because I can reserve... It's 3.47 as I'm filming this. I can reserve at 5, so we all know what I'm doing at 5. I'm dropping everything and going and doing that. So I'm aiming for a 9th, 10th. But when I do that, I'm going to be bringing you guys with me so you and me can see what they're doing for the open part of Discovery Kingdom. What's open, what's closed, what food options are there, what social distancing they're doing, and Sidewind to Safari construction, and other park construction, because over Georgia right now is having so much done, and that's because new management, they're kind of deciding to take the Six Flags chain to a different place, like completely other where it was. And then, yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to start doing more informative videos like this, not just Planet Coaster, because that's what I want to do on this channel. Um, so there's going to be more Planet Coaster coming soon. But till then, bye. <laughs>